I wanted to read a little passage out of the Declaration here. Because as we've seen with Liberty Williams and many other channels, we all sat there and said at one point in our lives, something ain't right. And I said to myself, while well, I watch certain individuals in my life struggle with this and that and everything else, and I actually, before I even really got into reading the Constitution, I said to myself, there's got to be a better damn way. Why are people deciding to live their lives so miserably? And I actually, I thought I was smart. I went and I started studying some psychologists and trying to get into the mind of things. But then I read the Constitution. And then boys already had it figured out. I'm going to read that for you. If you don't have one already, they're cheap, but ever so precious. And the one section it says, Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. Which I agree with. We better have some pretty daggone good reasons. And accordingly all experience hath shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable, than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. <laughs> it's so genius, is simple. And if you read the Declaration, I'm pretty sure you can draw a few parallels between then and now. But let's think about that for a second. I'm going to read it one more time. And accordingly, all experience hath shown, which means they've researched it, they know. That mankind, us, you and me, are more disposed to suffer. Which means we're more likely to. While evils are sufferable. And yes, evil is a sufferable thing in many cases. Because I mean, we've all heard it at the polls. Well, let's vote for the lesser of two evils. than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they're accustomed. Well, that's where the work comes in, doesn't it? It requires us to have a free thought, a free conscience, and free action. And we do. We have all those things. Nobody has stopped us from doing that. In many ways. Now we've had a few ways that depending on who you are. You might have come up against some things or another. But we have every opportunity. They are readily obtainable. So. I 
I guess that all boils down to the area in which we are in, the state in which we reside, and the resolve in which we intend to exercise that great endeavor. Never give up the faith. God bless. Be good. Be safe.